After Russia's President Vladimir Putin announced partial mobilization in September, hundreds of thousands left Russia. German politicians promised back then protection to those who refused to fight in Ukraine. But it turns out that actually getting asylum in Germany is not that easy for Russian draft evaders. Our correspondent met with a few men who are trying. Denis Suprun decided to flee Russia immediately after President Vladimir Putin announced a partial mobilization. I don't want to fight, because no one is attacking Russia. I had a military service card. I served in the Russian army in 2011 and 2012. And this military card is proof that I would be drafted again this time. Dennis crossed the border into Georgia on a bicycle and then flew to Germany. He requested asylum in the Berlin airport. He has been to three different migrant centers since then, most recently here, in Wunsdorf, south of Berlin. We are not allowed to film on the premises, but ironically it is right outside the former Soviet forces German headquarters, now abandoned. There are more than a dozen men like Dennis here. Asked why they came to Germany, they all have the same answer. The media reported that Chancellor Scholz said Germany would grant asylum to Russians who support European values and don't want to be drafted. A German interior ministry spokesperson confirmed to DW that Russians who refuse military service can apply for asylum here. Each case, however, will be considered individually. But most of these men entered Germany either through other EU countries or with visas issued by those countries. According to what's known as the Dublin Regulations, asylum seekers must make their claim in the first EU country they set foot in or that issues them a visa, not wherever they end up. Dennis has already been refused asylum, exactly on those grounds. Now he is being sent to Sweden. But not all European countries are willing to grant asylum to draft evaders from Russia. And these men are afraid that they will eventually be sent back to Russia, where either the army or prison awaits them. Natalia Smolenchova uh, filed this report. She's with DW's uh, Russia desk and joins us in the studio. Now, Natalia, tell us more about these men. What do they uh, think about the war in Ukraine? Uh, so these men have actually left Russia because they didn't want to become part of this war. But it's unclear how politically aware they are of what's happening in Russia, has been happening for the past years. Out of all the men we've spoken, and it's, you know, around five, seven people who are in this, uh, you know, in this refugee camp here in Germany, um, only one was um, active, politically active, before he was going to the protests, uh, actually um, taking part in local elections, and he was planning to leave Russia already after the beginning of full-scale inv invasion in February. Mm. Other men have been seemed to live their normal life after the beginning of the war, and only when the politics came directly to their houses and were um, taking them to the war, then they decided they want to flee. Mm. So what is the impact of all those young men leaving Russia? I think it's remained to be seen in the next years, but uh, estimated hundreds of thousand people have left Russia. And these are young, skilled men. This is the core of economy and especially people who are working in IT sector, in academia, engineers. Those people are to bring country forward and we're going to see a big brain drain and this can af uh, affect Russian economy. Together with the Western sanctions, we can see that Russia will be uh, sliding into the recession, I think, in the next years. Now, there are talks that uh, there's a new wave of mobilization uh, uh, on the horizon. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, a lot of people are fearing this, and these men have been spoken to. This is also the reason they don't want to come back, because they are afraid they'll be drafted again. Uh, because the initial numbers of draftees, we haven't seen the numbers, but there were rumors that there's 300,000 people. Mm -hmm. They're not enough, clearly, for Russia to continue this war. And we see that Russia is planning to go on um, continue with the war in Ukraine for some time still, and it will need new soldiers. Uh, but it's very tricky to announce a new wave of mobilization because we see that the first one was very unpopular political move. And if before um, the majority of Russians kind of ignored the war or they preferred to close, shut their eyes to it, now it's become impossible because it is coming to every house and every family and taking the man to the war. That's why it's remained to be seen whether the um, authorities in Russia will 
uh, make this step to go and actually announce a second wave of mobilization, or they'll prefer to do this hidden, undercover, and not, you know, not angry and uh, not anger the people more. Natalia Smolenchevar from DW's Russia desk. Thank you very much.